What I'm going to be doing is this, another top piece. Um, and you might think, well, gee, that's kind of redundant because Tom just did a lot of that stuff. Well, he didn't do this. Between centers, I'm going to just crew it up, get it nice and round and smooth. where the rollers of my steady rest are going to run. And I want it to run rather nicely. So in comes the steady rest. And I leave the tailstock in place. Go strong. The other side. That looks pretty good at low end. Assembly. I'd like to start with a, my only carbide Forstner bit. I wish I had more of them because they really stay sharp a very long time. about an inch and three-eighths up. That's going to be the maximum diameter. This is going to be the second maximum diameter with a deep V cut at that location. Even what I call a Euro spindle gouge. It's a very shallow for, for a large shape like this.
help us out. Two and a half diameter. Okay, that's one side of the bead. And we're looking at seven eighths. And that's the inboard side of the other. So now I can just use my eye to judge it. I don't need the caliper. Trying to make the bead. Uh, I use a narrower euro tool, put the demarcation line in the middle. It tells me, helps me get symmetry. adjusted feature on your mailbox post. <laughs> 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 the possibilities. Ice cream cones. 